Hey everyone, it's Prep for Life, and today we're going to talk about combat belts, battle belts, war belts, whatever you want to call them, specifically the G code contact operator's belt. Like most of you out there, I started with one of these thick devils right here, right? So these things, I mean, they've been around for a long time. Um, still have some comfort. This is just a cheap condor that I have. Um, I've had it for a long time. Used it on the range a couple of times, but honestly, I just kept finding that I was sweaty all the time. It was heavy, and I, I was always too tempted to load it with way too much stuff. So um, nowadays, it's actually kind of become my go-to belt for pulling my pulk sled. If you've watched any of the, the videos on our winter um, kind of a pulk sled winter camping. So it does have some use. Um, after that, I did find, especially as I was going to the range, as I was going and doing training, you know, down at front side or any of the other classes, um, I, I picked up one of these Blade Tech uh, deals right here. And this is what kind of got me into the kind of the desire of having a go-to kind of war belt, battle belt in a much slimmer design, right? This was kind of, the, the big one was great for grab and go. Um, everything's there where I need it. This just became so much more of a slim design, right? And obviously this isn't a video about blade tech, but this is kind of what got me on the way. It's actually a Velcro enabled. So you have an inner belt that actually holds your pants up. And, and that inner belt is actually what grabs a hold of the outer belt because there's Velcro inside there and everything just kind of holds together really, really well. But there's a lot of limitations with this. This is, you know, a great starter belt. It's been fun for like range time and some of the training, but I was ready to kind of meld the two together and just have a really good grab and go um, war belt, again, battle belt, whatever you want to call it. Full cards on the table. G Code was kind enough to actually send me one of these to test out on the channel. However, I had done so much research on these anyway between all of the different models out there. G-Code is the one that I just kept coming back to again and again. I'd had some friends that were using their holsters, uh, right, some of the appendix carry models, and so I started checking them out. And between the comparison, the quality, at least for my research, seemed to be so much higher. So you can buy the contact operator belt just by itself. If you really want to start at ground level and just start that way, you can build it up. Um, I decided to go with a package, kind of that buy once, cry once mentality because it comes with everything all together. And again, part of what attracted me to G-Code's gear in the first place is that it's an interlocking system. Everything's made to work with everything else. And so it's not just pieced together. This is it so far, right? This is everything I've gotten, but this thing is just fantastic for grab and go. Now you'll notice the kit itself, the Scorpion Low Viz comes with three mag pouches each. So three pistol, three rifle. Um, at the time that I got it, it actually did come with the mount back here on the very back, not the pouch and not an actual holster, but it did have the mounting plate. And of course I, I threw on the tourniquet uh, after the fact. I have since gone and purchased the med pouch. To be frank, if I were doing this all over again, I most likely would have purchased the assaulter system. It does cost a little bit more, However, I don't know that I've really ever run this fully with three pouches each because it takes up so much real estate. Two pouches of each tends to be kind of my go-to, whether I'm training, if I'm on the range, and because this thing is really kind of geared to where you can wear it with body armor or a chest rig, I'm probably gonna carry my extra mags up top anyway. G-Code was kind enough to send me a few of the upgrades. I was just gonna do a standard buckle, to be honest with you, but this Cobra buckle for the leg strap Fantastic. I don't know that I would have known the difference, right? Having not used the Cobra buckle down below, but I think um, I quickly would have known there was, there was, I should have probably paid the extra money. So that's for sure. One of the other upgrades that they gave me is I was just going to go, you know, based on my experience with the, with the previous battle belt um, or training belt, I was just going to go with the Velcro inner belt. This thing, by the way, is fantastic. Not only does it Velcro to itself, but you also have this little buckle that's just gonna link right in. And that is honestly good enough to hold up your pants anyway. This is a comfortable, good looking belt. However, you'll notice, right, it's got the hook and loop right on the outside. And so you wear that out to the range, wear that to training, whatever. Uh, and it's, you basically just, you have Velcro on the inner side here of this battle belt that hooks onto that because the inner belt is going through your belt loops. Everything's tight there and it holds together. It basically means that I don't need to be cognizant of where those belt loops are. Wherever I want to put my mag pouches, wherever I want to put my gun holster, it all just comes together. I, I have 
you know, an infinite arrangement because I'm not worried about that placement. It just sits over the belt loops. However, G-Code was also kind enough to send me the padded inner belt. So I really got both options. Padded inner belt, again, I, I wish I would have had the foresight uh, because this thing's amazing. When you're really truly talking about grab and go, right? I think I would use the inner Velcro belt for an official training, going to the range, something I'm kind of prepared for. But in this configuration where it's more just like a grab and go, I've got it hanging up for when I need it. If I ever had to just kind of say, okay, let's, let's rock and roll. I'm not going to take the time to put the inner Velcro on. So this padded belt becomes really, really attractive. As you can see, it just, it allows me to put this on whatever my clothing configuration is, right? If I'm wearing my pajamas, if I've got a coat on, it doesn't matter. I can just sling this on quick adjustment of the Cobra buckle, throw uh, the leg strap around my leg and I'm ready to go. That brings me to my next point, the leg strap, I wasn't exactly sure if I would love it, right? I've got very, very thick thighs, as, as some of you have, have probably noticed. Uh, this thing is extremely comfortable. It's got just the right amount of give here in the stretch, um, buckles very solidly, and with the kind of mid hang, right? I wouldn't call this a thigh holster by any means. This is kind of a, just a low rise, basically. It's a, it's kind of a a dropped option for your handgun and honestly if you're using the padded inner belt it just provides more friction more traction when you're actually unholstering and reholstering so it's it's a great solid purchase for that uh, for that pistol next i want to talk about these holsters so the cobras first of all when you're ordering this system you can actually specify what type of clips you want for these cobra mag pouches and, and basically they have a few options, whether you're throwing this on just strictly molly, if you're throwing it on a regular belt, or if you're putting it onto one of these operator belts. And so it allows you to choose the right fit. And then once that's on there, it is solid. So you'll notice there's, there's a series of loops stitched into this outer belt. And those go right through, they clip in, and, uh, and, and it just fits. These things do not move around at all. They feel very, very snug. The, I, I know that I've seen on Amazon, there's very cheap knockoff versions of these Scorpion holsters. I've never tried them, so I can't really speak to how well made they are. I will tell you, I've used these a few times. These Scorpions, they hold together very, very well. There's a tacky material inside, so it really gets a good purchase on those mags, right? You've got the, the, the kind of sh uh, shock cord that's wrapped around these, uh, these kind of plastic pieces right here. And so it slides in very, very well. I had no problem moving around. I had no problem with the magazines wanting to come out at all. I mean, you could hold this thing and shake it upside down. They wouldn't come out. But when it came time to actually grabbing the mags, they were right where I want them every single time because of the, just the way that this thing fits onto you. They come out with just the right amount of force. That was actually one of the other worries is if I'm just using the padded inner belt and I don't have the, the Velcro inner belt to really hold it there, would I have trouble with the whole belt lifting up? And to be honest, I really didn't. There was minimal movement. I was able to yank it free every single time. I really didn't have snags. And so, you know, all in all, that was really a key to me. I mean, getting this out on the range, I, I really didn't have doubts that it would be well made, but I, I'm sold. I mean, again, take it with a grain of salt because they did provide me the belt to test and review, but. I was not disappointed in any way. I will tell you, it, it is all made to fit together. It looks good. It's a solid package. Honestly, I, I would pay the money and I would make that decision uh, 10 times more, no problem at all. Lastly, what I wanna talk about is their RTI hangers. So the universality of this, now I did end up getting one of the, the light bearing holsters from G-Code. These things are phenomenal. Very well made, very thick, kind of plastic Kydex. This thing's not breaking anytime soon. But what's amazing is the RTI hanger that they have. So of course they're gonna make their, their holsters and everything with regular belt loops, whatever you want, even Molly attachments, it doesn't matter. The RTI allows you to kind of have that, like I said, universality. In fact, at the same time that I went and bought the med pouch, I bought a few more universal hangers that will fit on Safari Land, they will fit on Black Hawk. It kind of allows you to now take the holsters that you already have and swap out and basically just kind of clip clip right in there, lock it in, and then push the little button right here, which is just gonna lock everything in place. It's the same principle for back here. When I have my med pouch, I can reach back, pull this off, and have access to all of my life-saving gear as needed, 
or really swap that out for whatever else I might need. So that is a really attractive option, and honestly, um, that has held together extremely well. There is no rattle in this, there's no movement. I would feel very confident putting my, my gear, whether it's my life-saving gear or my gun itself, uh, onto these hangers and, and just knowing that it's gonna stay there and it's gonna work with me, even putting it through its paces. I guess the last thing I'll talk about is just the company itself. I had heard very good things about G-Code and their service, um, I was not disappointed on that either. Now again, take that with a grain of salt because we're working together. They sent me their product. Obviously, they want to make a good impression. But they did not disappoint. Not only did they throw the extras in there, they treated us very, very well. I, I'm having trouble thinking of a downside for the gear that I've received from G-Code. I've been extremely impressed with their workmanship, with their customer service, and the quality of this product. To be fair, I have not gone and put hands on with the Ronin, with the Viking Tactics. I really made my decision based on my research before. Didn't even know if I was going to do a video on them, but honestly, I've been so impressed. I had to bring this to you. Um, go ahead and drop me your comments down below. If, if you have different you know, opinions on what you found to work, um, go check them out at tacticalholsters.com. Let them know that we sent you. And uh, as always, give me a like, a subscribe, and we'll, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.